Hello, and welcome to the first Tuesday Tips Live of the new term here at Digital DJ Tips, the world's leading, leading DJ school. And today's Tuesday Tips Live, and if you're new to this, we do these every week at this time, 3 p.m. London, 10 a.m. Eastern, and on replay on YouTube and Facebook, is all about your DJ score. Do you know what your DJ score is? What is your DJ score? And why is it important to you? We're going to be talking about that today. I'm going to show you where to get your DJ score from. It's very easy. It's free. And I'm going to actually go through the whole process with you. And we'll look at the kind of questions you get asked in this fun, easy to do, but scientifically accurate quiz, which will give you your DJ score at the end of it. So welcome, everyone. It's great to be back for the new term. It's been a fun summer, but I do enjoy doing these things. So uh, it's good to be back here in the studio uh, with some exciting stuff to share with you. And we've got lots of exciting stuff to share with you over the coming uh, three months in the term, the autumn or the fall term between now and Christmas. So the DJ test, the DJ score, what's this all about then? Well, some of you who've been hanging around at Digital DJ Tips for a little while will know all about this, but there's plenty of people who won't. So we're gonna treat it as if you've never seen this before. And if you have seen this before, now is a great time to take the test again as we're gonna find out. So look, you're gonna get a score between one and 100. So it's like a percentage. And this percentage is arrived at by our fiendishly clever online test quiz, which is free to take. And this will give you a overall percentage as to where you're at in your DJing right now. It's fun to know. It gives you bragging rights uh, among your friends, right? Hey, what's your score? Oh, this is mine. Uh, but also, more importantly, you can take the test more than once. That's why I said if you've done this before, now's a good time to do it again, because it shows you where you're progressing to in your DJing. If you take it now and take it again this time next year, for instance, you will see how you have progressed. It's for everyone, it's for beginners, it's for pro DJs, everyone in between. There's no, you know, there's no point where you're too soon on your journey or too advanced to take it and to get something from it. Um, it is uh, more than that though, because once you've taken the test, here's the really cool bit, you'll get a free personalized PDF report, downloadable 33 page report from me, Phil Morse, the head tutor here at Digital DJ Tips. And this is really valuable because taking into account your scores in the five big areas of DJing, which you'll also get at the end of the test, you won't only get the one percentage, but you'll get your scores for the five big areas of DJing as well, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. Taking into account those five big areas of DJ and your scores in them, you'll get a personalized coaching PDF from me that is for you and you alone, different to everyone else's, which will contain your scores, of course, but also advice and tips and resources on how to improve in all those areas. Look, it's a really cool thing we've built here. We don't shout about it enough, but we're shouting about it today because I want you watching this right now to take the test. Not now, but I'll tell you how to take it at the very end. Before we go and do the test together, which I thought would be a really fun thing to do, let's talk about those five areas of DJing because to everyone out there, um, they're not always gonna be clear, but they are the best way to learn this awesome hobby of DJing. So the five areas of DJing are gear, techniques, music, performing, and promoting yourself. And actually, we wrote about them in our book, uh, which is um, a bestseller on Amazon, Rock the Dance Floor. It's how we taught DJ originally in this book when we first wrote it. It's actually on the, uh, on the um, third page of the book. This is how important it is, the five areas of DJ. And also our complete DJ course, which is our, our, our flagship DJ training course, follows these five areas of DJ. So they're really important and it's important that you get them all right. You know, the five areas feed into each other and you don't have to get much better in all of the five areas for your DJing to get a lot better. So what are the five areas? Well, gear, is the actual equipment. It's the geeky stuff. It's the cables, the transformers, the levels, the game staging. You know, it's kind of like, um, where, does, uh, where does everything plug in? Where does it all, where does it all go? Like, well, what goes in the back here? What, if I plug something wrong in here, is it gonna make it sound terrible? It's all that kind of stuff. So it's the geeky stuff. You know, it's the wiring of a plug kind of stuff. Not very glamorous, but massively useful. 
Music is what it says. Music is basically your ability to uh, to select the very best music. So, you know, um, using streaming services nowadays and uh, all other ways and methods and DJ download pools, but not only where to get your music from and how to have a system to get your music, but also how to organize that music and prepare it for your DJ set. So music, obviously, a very important part of it all. Um, techniques is the third of the five areas of DJing. What you actually do on your DJ gear. You know, it's all very well understanding how it all plugs in and having a great set of music, but if you don't know how to mix, you don't understand counting and timing and phrasing and beat mixing and how, what all the effects do uh, and how DJs think about their music and how to move smoothly from track to track and all that stuff you're obviously not going to progress as a DJ, so techniques is very important. Promoting yourself and playing out are the two which some DJs have got no interest in at all, but most DJs really have. Because look, there's nothing better than playing out, there's nothing better than performing in front of other people. But it's just like any performance, it's like being any, any person who gets on a stage. It's very, very different DJing in public to DJing in your bedroom. So there is a skill involved, just like walking onto a theatre stage, or being a singer, or being a musician, uh, or being a public speaker. All of these things have got a lot in common with being a DJ who gets up in front of other people. So in the performing section we talked to you about how to perform, not only how to actually handle the nerves and the and the confidence stuff, but just how to do a good job, how to have that energy going from you to the dance floor, and how to do the the more um, crowd oriented stuff. In other words, what songs are you going to play? What order are you going to play them in? How are you going to react when the crowd doesn't react how you want them to? How are you going to deal with people coming up to you? DJ etiquette and all that stuff. That is all in the performing or the playing out section. And nowadays live streaming is in there of course because of course live streaming has become a big thing. And finally promoting yourself. Look, it's not a dirty word marketing. You know who you are. You know what you want to say with your music. You know the kind of DJ you want to be. How are you going to tell everyone else that? How are you going to make sure that their image of you is an accurate version of what's in your head. That's all marketing is, that's all promoting yourself is. Uh, and if you want to get those gigs, you want to have that thrill of playing in front of other people, you've got to do it. So here's where we cover social media, branding, logos, all the nitty gritty stuff like that, but also the bigger picture. You know, How often should you be doing this stuff? How much should you care about it? So these are the five big areas of DJ, and that is what is covered in the DJ test. Right, if you have joined us late, we are talking about the DJ test, and more specifically getting you your DJ score. It's a fun, free, fast quiz that you can take online. At the end of it, you get a percentage, which you can brag about to your friends and share over on the Global DJ Network, our DJ Facebook group. But also, more importantly, it will give you an accurate picture of where you are in your DJ, and you'll get a free training PDF from me, personalized to you at the end, that will help you to improve. It's an awesome resource, and it's free. Shall we have a look at it, people? Shall we look through the DJ test together and I'll show you how it works. So we are going to start off by getting you to the right page on the internet. You head over to thedjtest.com. Thedjtest.com, the URL you see at the top of my screen there. And when you get to thedjtest.com, you will see this page that explains to you what I've just explained to you, shows you the PDF you're going to get uh, and the five areas you're going to be tested in. Um, and then you click on the Take the DJ Test button and it will ask you for your first name and your last name, your email address and to let us know where you are in the world. This is important because it means we can send the test to you and you'll fill this in even if you're a Digital DJ Tips student and we already have your details uh, because uh, that's the way this works. So once you've done that, you will land on the test. It'll take you to the test itself. This is an actual question from the test. And I think it'd be fun if we went through the test together. Um, so um, this is just a, a yes, no question. They're all yes, no questions. Uh, when choosing the next track is the most important thing for you, finding something that will mix well, yes or no. So you answer, you think, well, you know what? Mixing's important, so I'm gonna go yes on there. The next question here is, have you made and shared a mixtape or have you performed a DJ live stream recently? So look, I've got to tell you here, you have to be honest. There's, you can't game this test, or rather if you did, there's no point doing it. So just be honest. It's about where you're at in your DJing, so tell us the truth. And if you have, great. If you haven't, hit a no. I've not made a DJ mix recently and I've not played out recently, so that's a no for me. Uh, would you say you understand the different music file formats DJs commonly use or are you a little bit, ah, so let's answer no for that, for the hell of it. Um, can you move between genres and BPMs confidently when playing? It's one of those biggest questions in DJing. By the way, do you like our little um, 
CDJ that's filling in as we go around here. Um, and I'm, I'm going to click yes there. I've been doing it for 30 odd years, but maybe you're not. You know, it's one of the things that we teach in our courses, how to move between BPMs and genres and so on when you're DJing. And the questions continue along the same kind of lines. Um, they're all kind of randomized, so you won't see them in this order. Uh, when preparing for a set, do you go through your tunes beforehand to choose what you might want to play? Now I just play what's in my box. I don't do any of that stuff. Uh, that could be your answer, so you'll click that one, uh, and so on and so on. And by doing this, we'll get to the end of the test, and at the end of the test, you'll be given in your email inbox, based upon the email address you gave us, so give us your best one, uh, your 33-page free personalised training plan from me, Phil Morse at Digital DJ Tips, to help you improve in those five areas of DJ. So it's a really useful, great resource. It's something that I think uh, not enough people know about. So do go and have a go. It's at thedjtest.com, thedjtest.com. Head over there, fill that in. You should have this test finished in about 10 minutes. And even if you've done this before, even if it's something you've done in the past, because we have had this test for a while, we've recently tweaked it and improved it, made it easier to take and all that stuff. But even if you've done it before, do go and have another go at it. Uh, but I want to talk to you guys and girls now about all of this because that's what these Tuesday shows are all about. We present something to you, we'll give you some information or we'll give you something to do. In this case, we've given you the DJ test, but then we spend the last few minutes of these live shows chatting about what we're talking about today. And just one little tip, um, if you do, and I know a lot of you haven't seen me all summer because I've been away, uh, if you do want to talk just general DJing or you do want to ask questions that are not connected to what we're talking about here, that's fine, but just come back on Thursday at the same time at 3 p.m. London or 10 a.m. Eastern, uh, and then from there we will get the chance to talk to you about these things uh, rather than spending time doing it here where we want to keep onto the subject of the DJ test. So all your questions are coming in live and I'm going to answer them all. Uh, I'm going to give a few shout outs to our regulars and basically it's, uh, it's us lot now chatting for the rest of the show. Um, so if you tune in to find out about the DJ test, now you know what you need to know. Head over to the djtest.com and take it. But hang around anyway because it's good to talk. And if you do want to ask questions, you can do so underneath on Facebook uh, and on YouTube. Facebook is best because the questions hang around afterwards so we can answer them even if we don't get to do them live. But do ask your questions there. And we'll get to you. Hi to Papa D and Martin and Christian and Mixmaster G and Kesha, uh, to Oleg, the Snakehead in Arabia, to Jacob and Dennis. Nice to see you, Dennis. I hope you're well, my friend. Uh, to Darren in Wales, to Amelia, who's in New Mexico, uh, to David, aka D Sounds. Hello to you. All our regulars are here and plus lots and lots of new names. It's always good to see. DJ Nine Iron, I've not seen your name for a while, my friend. I'm glad you are well. And Technobeat TV over there in the Philippines. DJ Skojo69 says, I have studied for this. DJ Skojo has studied for taking this test. Look, I'm glad, but really this isn't an exam. It's not, you can't fail it. It's just to give you a sense. And sometimes it'll give you a really good sense of where you are. You might be doing better than you think uh, in, in these areas. You know, the way we teach DJing, the five areas, gear, music, techniques, playing out, promoting yourself, is unique. We figured it out by teaching thousands and thousands of students how to DJ. We learned that, you know, there's DJ schools that'll just teach you mixing, 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 mixing. Here's the beat, here's where you mix. And you learn to do all that stuff, but you haven't got any understanding of why or how to do it for yourself. And then if you're put in front of DJ gear and told to play a set and you don't know the DJ gear, you're going to be as bad as a beginner, if not worse, because they wouldn't ask a beginner to do that. And then if you're in front of a crowd and you get stage fright because you're not used to it, you haven't been trained for it, then again, it's not going to help you that you've learned a few fancy mixes. Mixing's great, but it's only one, one of the five areas, which is why we, we, we figured out it was very, very important. And what we learned was the DJs who we taught those five areas, a bit of skill on any kind of DJ gear for the gear stuff, uh, really how to get a system to get the best music so you're not panicking about your music. Of course, the mixing, the techniques, but then also promoting yourself and playing out. They were the DJs who shone and that made us go, aha, this is the way to do it. And that's why we teach that way. And that's why the test is so good because it will show you how that works. Uh, right, so more of your comments on questions about this. Uh, this is a good question from Mixmaster G who says, does the test come with a certificate? Well, no, it doesn't, but it does come with a downloadable 
PDF, a 33 page PDF, which has got your DJ score on it. And we also email your DJ score to you. So you do get documentation, uh, but no, it doesn't come with a flash certificate. It's not a bad idea that one actually. Thank you for that. Um, this is um, just a few more hellos to Ballard in North Carolina and Marcus in Texas. Uh, hello to Schmill. Where do I take the test? The DJ test dot com schmil the dj test.com richie is having a holiday in uh in the dominican the dominican republic today so good to hear that um so techno beats took the test and says i got my test uh, results last week um so uh, i'm currently in college so i haven't got an awful lot of time to act on them but thank you for the pdf that's good um hello to dj ginormous hi to steve my compadre Steve there. Um, so DJ French says, nice Pioneer controller there. Uh, I've got a bad story about this controller actually. I was setting it up earlier today uh, and I tried, to get the, uh, I tried to get the power cable into the back over here somewhere uh, and the whole thing snapped off. Uh, and so I've had to kind of like sticky tape it in and, uh, and balance it all to keep the power on, which is not good. It's not good at all. Uh, but anyway, it's working for now. <laughs> so uh, Louis says, uh, Lou, sorry, says, good seeing you guys again. I hope you and the family had a wonderful summer. We did. Thank you very much, Lou. Right. We're talking about the DJ test. Any questions, anything you'd like to share uh, about this? Um, I will read out uh, questions and stuff involved uh, in this area now and come back on Thursday if you've got general questions. Christian says, I'm not fond of DJing in public, but I do manage to post DJ mixes in social media. Well, you'll probably do better than you think in those areas of the test then. Uh, and Christian also says, I'm more of a hobby or bedroom DJ, uh, hoping the test can help me become a better DJ. Well, it certainly can. And uh, I think you'll be very excited to get the personalized report at the end. That's the clever thing here. We, 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 we figure out what it is that you need help with and you get a personalized um, PDF at the end uh, for free, which will help you to improve based on you, uh, not based on everyone else. It's not, not, a, not a one size fits all. Uh, so Dastro or Destro, sorry, says I've been playing live for eight years now in so many different public and private events and I've never taken a test. I hope I get max points. Wow, you're exactly the kind of person that I would encourage to take it because you're going to find uh, that you do better than a beginner, of course, but there might just be some areas that even if it uh, just gets you thinking, it will have done its job. So thank you very much for sharing that. Uh, Aloha says, long time no see, Phil. Welcome back. Uh, thank you to everyone who's kindly welcoming me back to the studio. It's a complete tip in here. You know when you get back from holiday and you've got to bring all the stuff in and you haven't got time to unpack? Uh, if you could see just like literally inches around this shot, there's boxes, there's a big new UDG DJ table there. I've got to set up a review. We've got some live streaming equipment over there. I've got to set up a review. We've got controllers piled three high that need sorting out, putting away. Speakers over there that have got to be shipped off to our warehouse. The place is a tip, but it is good to be back in it, I have to say. Uh, so it would be interesting if we can see the public results of the tests, says Christian, another Christian on Facebook. Well, you know, I encourage you to go and post them on our Facebook page or rather on our Facebook group. So if you don't know about our Facebook group, actually, it's a good time to tell you. Just go to Facebook and search for Global DJ Network. Global DJ Network and apply to join. It's a private group. We'll have to let you in, which, which my team will do. It's not automatic. Uh, and once you're in there, you'll find a really friendly, large, many, many thousands of DJs community that will help you improve your DJing. And I'm sure we're going to see some test results published over there very soon. Uh, so there is somewhere there that you can share them in an environment where you're not going to have people sniping at you and trolling and all that. None of that goes on. It's a very friendly group. Um, as long as I've been with you guys, says Lou, I have never taken the test. Maybe I'll give it a shot after we're done here. Uh, so let me show you another place where you can get to the DJ test actually. So if you head over to the Digital DJ Tips website, digitaldjtips.com of course, and go to the top uh, you will see the DJ test as one of the options in the main menu at the top. And on the mobile it's on the little hamburger menu. And just click in there and it's going to take you directly to that page as well. So that's just another way of getting there. And by the way, if you're interested in the five areas of DJing and why they're important and you would like a copy of this book, you want to learn more about it, I'd love you to buy it. You can get it in all good bookstores. You can also get it on Amazon. You can get it on audiobook, on Kindle uh, and on Apple books. So you can get it on... Um, 
uh, Apple's bookstore as well. So you get this all over the place, but you can also read the whole book online, which is what reminded me of it there. So head to the top of the Digital DJ Tips website, click on the book, and you will see here a menu uh, where you can drill through every chapter and every section of the book. And this is the, the whole book. This is the actual book uh, with the improvements being that all the videos that I talk about in the book that I have to give you URLs for are all embedded in this version, which is really, really cool. You can also download the PDF from here as well and also join our community while you're there. So it's a good little um, tip if you wanna have a look at the book and find out where this kind of whole thing comes from, it comes from this book. Uh, so we're talking about the DJ test here. Uh, you can take it for free. It will give you a accurate score based upon the five areas of DJing, gear, music, techniques, playing out, promoting yourself, of where you are in your DJ. And it will also give you a broken down score in all of those five areas and a personalized PDF showing you where to improve. It's completely free and you can find out more at thedjtest.com, thedjtest.com. Let's chat now to a few more of you about what we're talking about here today. Um, so Scooby Snacks says, I'm working today, shh, but I'm listening in the background. I, I suspect a few people will be doing that as well. Uh, so uh, uh, Minimal XML over on Twitch, hello Twitch family, says it does feel weird sitting here in the factory where we make vinyl pressing machines, uh, watching the Digital DJ Tips stream. I love the stream and I love playing around with DVS. So uh, and you're in Sweden, so thank you for that message. What kind of vinyl? Like, like real vinyl, like records or, you know, like, I don't know, kitchen floors. What kind of vinyl are you pressing? Let us know. Uh, I'm not comfortable with every setup, says um, Cyprem. Uh, I'm a turntablist and my sets would be affected if I had to play on different kinds of equipment. Uh, so we're talking about uh, that in the first section, the techniques section of the DJ test. Um, so you'll find questions which will figure that out for you. Um, so Jamie says, what snapped on the control around the back? Uh, it was the internal. The internal little pin, the plastic snapped and perished and came off. So I've, it's all wobbly, um, Jamie. So I'm gonna to talk to Pioneer, try and get them to, uh, to fix that for me. Uh, right, so how long does a test take? Great question, says DJ Techno Boom. 10 minutes, maximum. Uh, so it really won't take too much of your time. Um, Ka Kesha says, I don't think I'm a great DJ, but others have told me that I am. So I'm definitely gonna take the test uh, and see where I'm really at. See, this is what it's all about. A lot of people lack the confidence and don't realize how far they've, they've come in their hobby. And this is a good way of kind of putting that marker in the sound for yourself. Uh, others have told me I'm pretty good. She, she I think it's a she, says. Uh, says uh, so you're very modest there as well. Look, take the test. It will give you some confidence. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, hello to the Ruckus. What's up, peeps? I'm still getting used to us being back. Me too, the Ruckus. Still getting used to being back as well. Uh, okay, so a final couple of comments. Um, this is from... From Offside Logic, who says good evening uh, or afternoon. I bet it's getting dark there already, though, right? Because you're in Orkney. Um, I've not been on here for a while. I remember doing the test before. The test should have been an option that falls half. There should have been an option that falls halfway between yes and no. Oh, I know, but look, you could have you could have all kinds of complications. We wanted to keep it really simple. Uh, so give us your best answer to some of those questions. Um, and uh, DJ Ginormous is unfurling his or her scheme for world domination. Interesting, nice to hear that. Uh, Lisa says, Phil, your vacation looks good. Uh, I'm jealous, remind me when we can ask gear questions. Uh, I'm debating between a Rev7 and a DDJ1000. Uh, right, so come over on to the same place you're watching this now at 3 p.m. London, 10 a.m. Eastern on Thursday. 48 hours from now, and I will be here until we've answered all your questions. That's the time to come and do that. Uh, Larry Hamilton Jr. Oh, sorry, Larry, Larry Hamilton Sr. Uh, and actually that's obvious from what Larry goes on to say. Says, I'm a gold club member of the profession. Five decades in the business, seven stations, numerous nightclubs of radio and club DJing since 1970, the year I was born. Uh, I can crossfade between the two. Uh, as I can crossfade between the two, just how important is it on the club and event side of DJing to talk? Ah, I see. So you're interested in like how important it is to talk when you're doing 
the kind of club gigs? Uh, this is a great question. Uh, you go into a lot of information, a lot of information here about this, and I'd love to answer this. Uh, but it's something that's better off asked on our Thursday show, Larry. So thank you very, very much for the question. But let me ask you very, very um, respectfully to cut and paste that. Come back on Thursday, and I will answer it in full, and we'll have a chat about it with the community as well. That's what it's all about. It's about the community. Top. Uh, tipping in, which only happens on those Thursday shows. So I want to hold that really good question until then. Uh, and then let's have one more then, a final, uh, a final little quiz. Um, Jacob says, I recently even found your book uh, on Tidal as an audio book. Uh, really, really nice way to reread it. You see, it's got everywhere, Rock the Dance Floor. We're very, very proud of it. Um, it's certainly helped many, many thousands of DJs over the years to... Uh, to perfect their art. Um, right, people, we are done. Uh, we are talking today, or have been talking today, about the DJ test. You can discover your DJ score, which will tell you where you are on your DJ journey uh, in just a few minutes. It's totally free. Go to the djtest.com, uh, click on the take the DJ test button and it will take you into a set of yes no questions uh, as you can see here uh, and as you're answering the questions you'll fill in our very flash CDJ player here uh, and at the end of it you will get a PDF that looks a bit like this uh, which is personalized to you based upon your answers to the questions. Uh, and that will be full of resources and tips and hints to improve in the five big areas of DJing gear, music techniques, playing out and promoting yourself. It's a free resource from us here at Digital DJ Tips. It's just been improved and it's just been, uh, just been uh, made even easier and even more fun to take. So we're telling you about it now today. Now listen, if you're a Digital DJ Tips student, come and join us tomorrow at the same time, 3 p.m. London, 10 a.m. Eastern over in the studio student group student live for student live or on Facebook so come to your student only group in Facebook you will know what that is if you're a digital DJ tips course member uh, Steve and myself are looking forward to seeing you tomorrow uh, because we haven't done one of those uh, yet uh, for a month or two uh, and if you are a digital DJ tips community follower fan or you're just interested in DJing and you want to have more of this stuff come back on Thursday at 3 p.m. London 10 a.m. Eastern for Thursday Q&A live when I will be back in this studio We've got all the gear, we've got all the um, equipment, accessories, everything you can think of here, literally around me, so we can talk DJing, and we will indeed be talking DJing. We'll have gear out, we'll have accessories out, uh, we will talk about everything that you want help with. Um, so come back for our open question session on Thursday, 3 p.m. London, 10 a.m. Eastern. Until then, for me, Phil, at the Digital DJ Tip Studio, really glad to be back. Get good, get out there, make the moments, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.